everybody all right today I'm going to be doing a video in a little bit on the Asus Tough gaming card 3090 24 gigabytes of DDR the DDR6X memory the other day I did one on a Strix a 6700 XT and I had mentioned in that video that I was really hoping to get my hands on a 3080 Strix well, lo and behold, I've got one coming in next week. So we're going to do a pair off. And we're going to bench out the Strix 3080 against the Asus 3090. Because everything from what I've been reading suggests that it pretty much holds its own against the 3090. Except for an Ultra at 4K, then things definitely change. So, I'm going to get things ready. I'm going to do an unboxing on this. And go over the specs. And take a quick look at it. And I will be back. Okay, folks, I'm back. Alright, I'm psyched. Like I said, I just got this in the other day. It's the Asus Tough Gaming Graphics Card. RTX 3090, 24 gigabytes of DDRX. So they are putting a better memory in the higher end cards. Um, as I said before, I'm gonna be doing another video next week where I am gonna pair, pair off, it, it just, I was saying how much I wanted to get my get my hands on a, a Strix 3080 and um, I've been waiting like forever because they're just not around and I'm not gonna go and buy one for twenty five hundred dollars so finally finally I got my hands on one and that is what's going to go in my rig. I am not getting rid of that for anything. It looks like I mean, the dimensions on it are pretty, pretty close to the dimensions on the, the Radeon, except for the thickness, the weight. It's definitely a thicker card. But we're going to have to wait and see that. But as far as the, 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 the front plate... The back plate rather and the front shroud and it, it's pretty much identical in design so I'm just gonna pop up a window real quick I should have already had this done but it only takes me a second so we can do this unboxing and get you all some specs I'm probably gonna cut this part out anyways but okay so here we are Here we are, yes. I just trying to figure out how to open this part here where I don't destroy the box. Because I am going to sell this. And it's going to technically be sold as an open box with a 30 minute benchmark on it. So, I didn't mention that, and one time I sold one to a guy, an EVGA 3090. I didn't realize that the, the person I got it from had opened the box on it. And I sent it out to, a, to the guy that bought it, and he got it for a good price. And I couldn't believe it, he sent it back. 
so I ended up sending him a I that I physically checked a, a um a Zotac 3090 Trinity which is all in all pretty much the same okay so here we are well actually the EVGA does come out ahead a bit okay and here's our card let's pop this bad boy out I get all this on the video I'm trying to still get all this video stuff set up so I got to get a front face and camera and some other things but getting there slowly I mean reviews that I do are more or less just informational because it's not something I make a living on I basically sell computer parts so that's what I do have been doing for years so there we have it the asus 3090 tough edition okay a couple things i want to point out right off the bat it's a pretty card huh it's not as wide as the strix but it's still a pretty beefy card okay obviously three fans in the front with the typical asus tough i hope i'm not missing any of this The Asus Tough gaming decals on each fan. Asus over here in the middle. Nine blades of fan. Obviously, you can tell by the curve on these fans that they are a high static pressure type fan. So it focuses a lot of the, the air directly into the center. You have your tough gaming up here. And there's some kind of subdued lettering, not lettering rather, kind of subdued type design on it. Is that just on the paper? No, it's it's on the uh, the shroud. It's a metal shroud. On the bottom part, you can see with the fan power comes in has a nice thick PCB the radiator in it yes it's a dual radiator it comes in two pieces PCBs nice and clean they do put the protector on it to save on the gold connectors On the back part, I've been seeing this a lot pop up on cards. They're coming out with this. So if you're putting it in the traditional way, the cards are going to be sitting in there this way. Because of the weight, sometimes you might get sag. And believe it or not, the sag is usually caused because where these brackets fit in, it's normally on the case, it really isn't that tight and it gives it a chance to move around so i seen jay on jay's two cents i seen him take one of these one time and put a couple screws on the top part and back of the case to push down on these and it literally picked the card right up nice and even so obviously this is where you can see not so much with this but some cards that don't have the reinforced brackets they have a lot of movement here it does cause the card to sag but anyways great idea that they came out with for putting this these these literally 
I threaded these two little holes and I guess they designed it so you could put some type of a bracket on there but nobody's ever made a bracket for it I've never seen one basically what, what I guess what I'm picturing is it would be a flat bracket probably could be ARGB whatever I don't really need it but it would run down probably have a little stand at the bottom of it a t-shape sit on the bottom of the case whether you have a power supply cover or not it could be an adjustable type rod covered with rubber bolt onto that and push this card up and give it more support and it's actually a good idea and I imagine you could make one with a rod and a T on it or whatever but they came out with the idea they put it there they never used it strange okay the back plate on it when I first looked at it I thought it was carbon fiber but obviously it's metal we have two eight pin connectors the back plate has a little bit of subdued type <laughs> it looks like tire tracks going across it um, tough gaming logo again it's got a nice heavy duty um, bracket on there to hold the GPU in I'm surprised for 3090 it doesn't have three eight pin but anyways you can see on this tough card that they're not using the newest little chips on here these are the older style they're the smaller ones and they do have I forgot what they call them again I gotta look it up I should have done it but anyways instead of having there's 10 little chips on each block now they're getting them so you can have it would be six bigger blocks and they say it's better power delivery and stuff but I don't know I don't know it has a lot of threaded I don't know why but all these little all these little holes going into the the back plate are threaded maybe to add something on I, I don't know I'd like to I don't even think there's anything on the internet about it to be honest with you okay the only ARGB that we have here this is going to slow it down it needs more RGB to go faster um, I think the only RGB this really has is right over here yes it definitely is ARGB so it's just basically the little tough gaming logo on the on the board that lights up okay so let's do a let's do a rundown on the um the specs of this so the graphic engine obviously is a 3090 Nvidia bus speed 4.0 PCI Express, OpenGL 4.6, video memory 24 gigabytes, OC mode on it. This is um boost clock, not game clock, game game mode. So OC mode is 1725. I, I know this card can go higher than that if you want to play with play with it and do your own settings. Um, gaming mode 1695. CUDA cores. 10496 10496 memory speed is 19.5 gbps so that would be giga gigabytes gigabods i don't know really how they measure that one out there it's like people when you think you're getting you're paying for internet service and you're getting a 200 meg meg 
download you're not getting a 200 meg download it's megabit not megabytes a lot of people fall for that but you don't think that xfinity comcast cox or anybody else is going to tell you that anyways and that's still fast my brother lives next town over he has one gig speed that thing is insane his download speed okay memory interface 384 bit everybody knows what resolution is 4k ultra all day long seven six eight zero by 4320 this thing will crank it right out I probably can only see think about the only one game that would probably give this cat a little bit of a hustle would be um, cyberpunk 2077 on in 4k at ultra that game pushes the limits maximum display ports four it has NV link no crossfire support no NV link yes it does support SLI and it's funny because on the Strix 3090 you have the cutout for the SLI they use the exact same back plate on the 3080 but you don't have SLI so they just kind of cut corners and you still have the cutout for it uh, it's no big deal but I guess they saved a little time and money with that I can't wait for that card to come in okay accessories well it came with a card in the box and I was going to take out the little package but it's just basically a pamphlet there's no tie-offs there's no nothing else in there just a little manual there's not even stickers software this uses the ASUS GPU tweak 2 I haven't installed it yet I've been using the MSI 3070 which is probably going to go in that MSI, MSI build unless I can get my hands on a 3080 if I can get my hands on an MSI gaming trio 3080 that's going to go in that build so far it's looking like I'm going to go with again I'm going to go with the MSI um, gaming Wi-Fi carbon um, it's gonna be a nice setup it's all gonna be MSI I've got the MSI pump over there I already did a little review on that gorgeous pump okay dimensions on this it is smaller than the Strix 11.8 long 4.99 wide by 2.3 basically it takes up it's 2.7 so it, it takes up uh, it's gonna take up three bays I'm not gonna get into the centimeter stuff okay they recommend an 850 watt power supply but I can tell you what this thing will run on a 750 maybe not overclock but it will run on a 750 as we know two eight pin con power connectors and like I just said takes up 2.7 slots I don't know why they just don't call it even three I would so that's about it folks that's a quick little rundown until we have this contest next week where we pair off the Strix against the Tough. A 3080 versus a 3090. I bet you that Strix holds its own. And we are going to push it all the way. Ultra and everything. That's where the 3090 is going to get its gains. It's going to shine in the 4K. It's going to shine in the Ultra that's where it's gonna pull ahead of the 3080s 37 well 37 I'm not even gonna put that in the same category but the 3080s that's where it's gonna pull ahead of all of them 3090s have that 24 gigs of, of, of memory and with the new architecture the DLSS the deep learning and I wouldn't use RTX I'm sorry I wouldn't use ray tracing because if you're going to game for performance you're not going to use ray tracing you're only going to use that if you're going to like maybe look at it um, 
yeah ray tracing you're going to lose a lot of performance as far as uh, frames and stuff the dlss different story there the second round that they had in the 20 series it kind of wasn't where it is right now but it's definitely a hell of a good program all right all right folks if you like this video please please give me a thumbs up leave some comments I am going to be doing that build I'm going to be choosing some way that I'm going to do a contest on that every part in there is going to go at MSRP I am not going to charge any I'm not going to charge anything above what I paid for it and it isn't going to be eBay prices it's going to be MSRP for whatever the company is selling it for no labor I'm still deciding on whether it's going to be my 50th member when we get there and it might take me a year I don't know it might take me a month maybe every number 35 but once I start throwing the stuff in that case I'll make the announcement I'll be back next week with the full review on the Strix 3080 versus the Tough. It should be a fun video. Look forward to seeing everyone or talking to everyone. Take it easy. Peace.